residents who live in the city that call Lake Worth home are actually the owners of their own electric utility. The transmission and distribution system hadn't been kept up like it should, so we were having a lot of failures. When people tell you the biggest reason they don't relocate their business or their families to this city is the electric, you better not ignore them. That's the first thing you have to tackle. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. We created a city ordinance, a law, that forces the city to be at rate parity with our biggest competitor, who pretty much runs every other city in town. big upswing over the last four years was the city entering into a contract with Siemens where we built a two megawatt solar field on four acres of land on uh, an old, ugly landfill. It sat right smack in the middle of the south part of the city. It's unusable land for anything else. What better way to use that land than to put renewables on it? And the best renewable to go on that land is solar. So as you can see, uh, Hector, what we have done by entering into a contract with Siemens and the city of Lake Worth, we've taken this, this ugly landfill that these residents have been staring at through their backyard and created a renewable generating station. It's amazing. It's amazing to think about what this used to be and what it is today, which is going to be 20 years, 30 years of renewable energy, complete conversion from what they were looking at just, just the other day. You're probably the first Florida city to actually own your own solar farm. Others have leased them, but you're the first one to actually own it. It actually does two things. One, it reduces the amount of load that I have to put on that plant, as well as it reduces the load of the purchase power that I have to buy into the system. Currently, the two megawatts gives us uh, about two, two and a half percent. Um, once we finish the build out completely, we'll be looking at about 10 percent of uh, city load. It was a $23 million project. We changed all the electric meters and water meters to automatics. We revamped uh, the city buildings to newer AC units and HVAC units and, and low flow water devices. The other big part of the uh, contract was the conversion of the LED street lights within the city proper. The biggest concern that I had from our community over going to renewables was that, you know, yes, Mayor Triolo, we love the idea of renewables, but how are we going to pay for it when we can't even fill the potholes in our streets? And I said through a performance contract. A performance contract means that we're actually paying for the improvements through the savings of energy that we're getting from this project. These panels are going to last 25 to 35 years, and they'll continue to generate power, they'll continue to generate savings for the city, so well beyond what uh, economics of the project required. It was easier for us to take the steps toward rate parity, knowing that we would be subsidizing our grid with new forms of energy. I'm happy to say that by January of 2018, we will be at year five, and we will have met parity and in fact, if things continue going the way that they are right now, we might actually beat our local competitor per 1,000 kilowatt hour. So it's very exciting. We did it. 